Hi, I'm Jeff from Solar Choice. Solar Choice is a free online comparison service where you can compare solar quotes anywhere in Australia. Today we're talking about bifacial solar panels. What are they? Is it worth it? What are the benefits? So I'm standing here with a bifacial solar panel and um, we can start by explaining how this technology works. So this at the moment is the rear side of the solar panel and we've got it next to a monofacial solar panel. Immediately you'll notice a difference that you can see the solar cells on the bifacial solar panel and you can't see the solar cells on the monofacial solar panel. The main benefit of a, a bifacial solar panel is that it absorbs light on the underside of the panel. So it's a design that's intended to increase the amount of output per solar panel on your roof. Typically bifacial solar panels have a glass on glass construction. So instead of only using glass on the front of the panel, they're using um, a glass back sheet as well. Most good bifacial solar panels will also have contacts and bus bars on the back, which you can see here, and that will increase the ability for the, for the solar panel to produce energy on the underside. Bifacial solar panels are most often seen in ground mounted installations where sunlight has a greater ability to reflect off the ground and hit the underside of the panel. They're used very commonly on utility scale solar projects. So what are some of the benefits of bifacial solar panels? Really, we see two main benefits. The first one is the increased yield. So obviously with the sun hitting both sides of the panel, you'll see a greater amount of energy per solar panel on the roof. And that will differ a little bit depending on whether you've got a rooftop installation or a ground mounted installation, whether you're using tilt frames and what sort of roofing material you have. In the case where your solar panels are flush mounted to the roof, meaning that there's no major gap between the solar panel and the roof, this is most solar panel installations in Australia, you're not gonna see any material benefit from having a bifacial solar panel. So really the studies show that the, the benefits start to kick in when the solar panel is tilted up from the roof line. So the other main benefit of a bifacial solar panel is the durability. So instead of having that polymer plastic uh, back sheet, as you can see on the panel to the far right, we've got a glass back sheet and that's a more durable material. It's more resilient against water ingress. So typically you see bifacial solar panels come with a longer uh, product warranty. Um, this one, for example, is a Winico solar panel that comes with a 30-year product warranty. The most solar panels um, for residential purposes have somewhere between a 15-year and a 25-year product warranty. So finally, is it worth it to buy bifacial solar panels instead of monofacial? The answer is it depends. It really depends on what your roof looks like. So for a typical residential project, we would generally say there's no major benefits outside of the increased durability of the panel to go to a bifacial solar panel. And that's because most roofs in Australia have uh, red tiles or have a, a darker roofing material that's just not going to reflect much light onto the underside of the panel. So the instances where we think it would be worth it to install bifacial solar panels is where you're installing the panels at a tilt. So generally um, quite a large tilt, 20 to 30 degrees above the roof line. And the roofing material is made from a highly reflective substance such as uh, color bond white or color bond uh, light gray can be quite reflective. In a government funded study, uh, they found that solar panels installed on a roof at an angle on reflective material can have a 5% to a 23% uplift in the amount of production. And those percentages depend on the roofing material and the tilt at which the panel is installed at. So this study was completed in Canberra and they found that the optimal angle for a solar panel to be tilted is 45 degrees to maximize the production on the underside. And that might not be realistic in a lot of residential cases. Most tilt frames only go up to 25 or 30 degrees. So um, if we take an example of assuming that you've got a great case for bifacial solar panels, you might be able to get a 15% uplift in the yield. So 
So if we look at a typical 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar system, that means over the span of a year, you'll be able to generate around 1,350 extra kilowatt hours from that system. If we translate that through to savings, and you can see our assumptions below in the description, we think that'll work out to be somewhere around $200 to $300 in, in additional savings on your energy bills each year. So factoring that it may cost you an extra thousand dollars in the cost of the solar panels and the tilt frames, going to a bifacial solar panel will, will pay for itself in about three to five years. However, it should be noted that if you've got enough space on the roof, uh, you may, it may be a cheaper way to get more production just by adding an extra few solar panels in a flush mounted monofacial um, design. Thanks for your time, that's all we've got to discuss today. And remember, you can always come to Solar Choice to compare quotes online for free. Thank you.